Hello guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. So this morning I washed all the dishes from the baking yesterday. I'm really happy that I got that done actually because it saves me a bit of time on my annual leave day coming this week, which I was gonna do all the cookies, but now that I have a bit of them done, I feel like it's a little bit less work. Anyway, I cleaned up the kitchen, I swept the floor, I put the things that were over here in the living room back over in the kitchen. Um, and now I'm finally starting to go through my Christmas stuff. So the first bag here is kind of like the wearables, so the Christmas sweaters, Christmas socks, my Christmas jewelry, and there's like a onesie and some matching PJ sets in here that I'm gonna deal with first. And I think later me and mom might hit up a indigenous market that's happening down in Kitty Vitty Village today. And there's also a fundraiser at Rainbow Riders. It's a like a horse stable here in the city. Um, where they're actually having a meet and greet with uh, Diesel, the German Shepherd that plays Rex in Hudson and Rex. And I love that show. Um, I love like anything local that's like successful like that. Um, so I've wanted to meet that dog for a long time. <laughs> He's so cute. So we might hit up that too. And then this evening, I believe my father is still coming over for supper. He wants to try and vacuum out my air exchanger vents himself. <laughs> so I'm going to cook him supper tonight. And I can't remember if I said this yesterday, but I'm planning to do chicken marsala. So it has like a mushroom gravy with chicken breasts. And I'm gonna serve it, I think, with rice and some broccolini. That is the plan for today. Let's get at it. Okay, I literally have you balancing on top of the tripod instead of actually screwed into the base piece, if that makes sense. So hopefully you don't fall. I did check the level, it is level. About to do my makeup to head out with mom this afternoon, so I figured I would show you guys what products I'm currently using. Cause some of them have changed since my last like beauty videos. So I figured I would run through my favorite products right now, basically. The first layer that I apply is the Carpe Sweat Absorbing Face Lotion. Anything that has links, I'll link it down below. Including this shirt. This actually, I'll show you. It's from Etsy. It says, in my waitlisted era. When I was delusional, thought I actually had a chance because everyone else's waitlist emails were coming in and mine took 30 minutes more than everyone else's, so I thought I actually had a chance of getting a code. After that, I apply the Smashbox Photo Finish Control Mattifying Primer. I've been using this for a long time now. By the way, went to the movie with my coworkers there back in October. Um, Amanda was actually there as well, <laughs> the same night. And uh, it was great. I cannot wait to rewatch it. Mom hasn't watched it yet, and she loves the Reputation Stadium Tour one on Netflix. So I'm really excited to see her reaction to the Eras Tour. And next with a damp Real Techniques sponge, I'm going to be applying my new foundation. Um, this is the one I've been using now for the past month and a half, two months. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I wear the shade 125. And I find it quite good. It's definitely lighter weight than the YSL that I was using before, which I kind of like right now. I will say though, it's a runnier foundation. So I have to be really careful when I'm applying it because droplets of it can easily get on my shirt and it doesn't come out. So if you haven't tried this foundation and you're thinking about it, just be aware of that. I'm just blending this in the same way I always did. Also, it kind of just occurred to me that next year, like next September, going to be my 10 year anniversary on YouTube. Kind of crazy to me. I know I've never had this as like a full-time career. I haven't really made any money off it and I've met new friends doing it and I've learned a lot of skills from watching other YouTubers, so that's why I started my channel to begin with, was to share my knowledge and my recommendations of products as well. Next, I'm going in with the same concealer I've been using for years, the Shape Tape Contour Concealer from Tarte Cosmetics, and I'm still using the shade 12N Fair Neutral. And I do have a separate, smaller, Real Technique sponge that I use for my under eyes. A lot of people find this concealer breaks them out, but I've always applied it under my eyes where I don't normally get a lot of clogged pores or breakouts anyway. Usually all my breakouts are hormonal. They're like down here on my chin. You guys have probably seen that in the past couple of vlogs because that is happening right now, but it's okay. So once those set, I like to let those dry a little bit before I apply powder, but I am using the um, MAC 
Studio Fix Powder Foundation. Um, I'm still the shade NC15. This one is almost ready to go into the bin, but I have a backup ready to go. But I want to use every little crevice of this product as I can before I toss it, just because it's so expensive. Same with my contour powder. This one you'll see is almost gone too. But again, I have the backup. I'm just trying to use as much of it as I possibly can. Basically until it falls apart. I know that you can technically put it back together if it falls apart, like I've seen plenty of videos on how to do that, but I just can't be bothered. At that point, it's old enough that it's just not worth it to me. Next, to set my under eyes, I use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under eyes. And it, I think it's the shade one, so I guess it's the translucent version. Tap off the excess. I used to use the Pressed version. They're a normal translucent setting powder because that was a lot more convenient than this loose powder. But I repurchased it and the formula changed and it just didn't like look right or sit right or wear right throughout the day. I was really disappointed. All right, next we're gonna do contour. So like I said, this one is hit pan bad. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Duo. Uh, this duo is the Lucid and Sombra. I don't really use the Lucid shade. I just use Sombra as my contour shade. Try to get as much product out of there as I can. And yes, I still do the fishy face because it helps me get the right wine. Next for bronzer, I've been using the Park Avenue Pronce Princess, Park Avenue Princess uh, bronzer, the Amazonian Clay Matte Waterproof Bronzer from Tarte Cosmetics. That's what the shade looks like. I really like it. It's, it is also more cool toned, um, but it's still warmer than my contour shade. I do up here and down here. so. It's not quite the E3 method, but like similar. And whatever's left on my brush, I blend downwards on my neck. Then for blush, I wear the MAC uh, Powder Blush in Well Dressed. This is, I think this is the first shade that I ever bought. This might be the original compact too, which in that case, I've had it for over 10 years because I bought it in 2010. Yeah, so it's like 13 years old. And then last but not least, actually no, not last. Um, in terms of the face products, last but not least, the Milani Afterglow. And then for highlighter, the Milani Cosmetics Instant Glow Powder in the shade Strobe Light 01. That is what I've been using for highlight. I always come back to this compact. It is such a nice highlighter shade for my skin tone. It's got like a hint of pink, but not too much. Mostly just like a neutral champagne-y color. It has the right amount of sparkle. You can build it up and make it super shimmery, or you can keep it light and daywear so i love that one moving on to brows still use my little sephora lash comb to comb out my brow hairs before i fill them in and i'm still using the anastasia <laughs> beverly hills brow wiz in the shade taupe i've been using this now for a very 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 long time fill these in i also own their dip pomade brow pomade whatever it's called sometimes i use that for special occasions or if i want my brows to look a little darker and more defined but for everyday wear that's perfect for me and last but not least, we're gonna throw on some setting spray. I'm not gonna do any mascara or anything. Maybe I will do some mascara, but I always do that last anyway. Um, I'm gonna set my face now with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, in their original formula. Wipe off my lips. <laughs> I just let this dry and usually I'm good to go. But if I want a little bit more pizzazz in my eyes, I still really love the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. And for eyeshadow, the Fenty Beauty Shadow Sticks Longwear Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Get On Taupe 04. I've been really liking this. Just like an easy, actually, yeah, I forget, I'll put it on. It's a little sweep over the eyelid, that, and it just adds like the perfect amount of shimmer. And it stays put, and I really like it. It's like the perfect mixture of creamy, but still waxy enough that like it has some staying power. I'm gonna throw on some mascara, and I'll check in with you guys later. All right, guys, we've made it. I'm here with mom. And I picked up an iced tea because I really needed some caffeine. Also, look how festive this cup is. Super cute. We just made it down to Kitty Bitty Village. We're going to check out the indigenous market and uh, probably won't take my camera in, but I will check in with you guys later. Hopefully, we have a haul to show you. One hour later. All right, so we just left the indigenous market and we uh, did some damage. Yep. I figured we would do a little haul. Do you want, Mom, do you want to go first? So Isn't this the cutest little bag ever? <laughs> yes. Let me see if I can zoom in. It says Kimi Gwetch on it. It's so pretty. Oh no, my battery's dying. Okay, real quick, real quick. What else did you get? I got a lovely red uh, dress. That I red dress. Um, I got two pairs of earrings, technically. One is that one. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Plug her in. 
I can't plug it in. Yeah, they're the earrings that mom is giving me for Christmas. Super pretty. And I bought these for myself. They're seal that? skin and rabbit. Yeah, they're like a sparkly vinyl. And real quick, we got these for mom for Christmas from another, oh, beautiful. And my battery's dying, okay, bye. All right, you guys, we're switching over to the phone, but we are headed into the Rainbow Riders fundraiser with, uh, Rex, the German Shepherd. Are we excited to meet the doggo? Yes, we are. And I actually think Kayla is here too, so we might see Kayla. So, should be good. Guys, it is close to 11 o'clock now. I am getting ready for bed. Uh, I had a great afternoon with mom. We went to the market and then we went to meet Rex or Diesel I should say at the Rainbow Riders fundraiser. Then we came home, I made supper for me and my dad. We had supper, he cleaned out my air exchanger vents, all that good stuff. So I've been just been lying on the couch ever since and I am very tired now. So I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas day 11. <laughs> Bye.